I welcome you all to the course Power System Protection. So this course uh, usually comes in uh, third year B.Tech Electrical Engineering or Electrical and Electronics Engineering. Okay. So this course is also uh, having various names in various universities. In some universities, it is termed as PS3. It is also called as switchgear and protection in some universities. The main intention of this course is to study various apparatus. So here in this course, we'll be studying about various apparatus or devices and various schemes so that are used to protect to protect the power system to protect the power system in the sense we are protecting various equipment and apparatus in power system like generators transformers transmission lines distribution feeders etc so this focus this course focuses on how can we protect various apparatus in the power system so here we will be studying about what are the devices that are used to render protection to the power system as well as what are various schemes uh, what are various schemes in which these devices can be employed these devices can be employed such that power system operates in a safe manner let me quickly give you an overview what we are going to study first i will start with relays so in relays i'll be covering overcurrent relay differential relay and distance relays okay. also we will see, also we will see parallelly along with this we will see protection of generators transformer transmission lines bus bars and feeders okay in the last section i will try to show the constructional details of various circuit breakers like oil circuit breaker air blast circuit breaker vacuum circuit breaker and sf6 circuit breaker here we will be also studying various phenomena various phenomena happening in circuit breaker like current chopping resistance switching current chopping resistance switching uh, auto reclosing auto reclosing also we will study about the ratings of circuit breaker ratings of circuit breaker so this is a this is a simple overview of the course here and then now and then i will be adding some topics if necessary but uh, these are the main topics that i will be covering in this whole course okay so let us see why it is important uh, to study power system protection why it is important to study power system protection so why why protection why it is necessary to protect and why it is necessary to study so power system involves power generation transmission distribution okay so in this whole power system we have all we have invested or utilities have invested huge amount of revenue so there is a huge capital investment in power system okay the whole power system power system in the sense the whole power systems from generation to distribution so there is a huge capital investment okay so any damage to the equipment in the power system will directly lead to revenue loss 
Okay. So in power system, we are having costly equipment like generator transformers. So if there is any damage to any of the equipment in the power system, that directly leads to the revenue loss. Apart from revenue loss, we also have the problem of uh, supply interruption, power supply interruption due to due to faults. Okay, so faults will faults may pose danger to the power system equipment, leading to revenue loss as well as because of the pa faults, power system in the power system there will be a loss of reliability of power supply also. Because of these two reasons, it is very important to protect the power system from potential faults. So we are protecting, so protection from whom? Protection from faults and abnormal conditions. So we want to protect the power system from various faults and abnormal conditions. Why? Because power system, huge capital investment is involved in power system. And if there is any damage to the equipment of the power system, there incurs a revenue loss. And also there is loss of there is loss of supply reliability. Okay, because of the these two main reasons, we are going to we, it is important to protect the power system. Also, it is also also it is important to protect the power system because uh, for safety of operating personnel, operating personnel. In the sense, uh, the people operating staff who are using the uh, who are operating the equipment of the power system so to keep uh, keeping in the mind the safety of the operating person also we have to protect the power system these are various factors why tells us why it is important to protect the power system what happens if there is a fault let us come to this question we all know that fault is associated with it is always associated with high current It is always associated with high current. So, because of this high current, the heat that is generated is given by the formula H equal to I square RT. Let us take a simple power system. This is a source and this is a transmission line. Let us suppose there is a fault here. And the current drawn by this fault is IF. Current drawn by this fault is IF. Obviously, because there is a fault, the IF will be huge in magnitude, uh, many times compared to the rated or normal load current. And the heat generated in the equipment involved, here generator is involved, transformer is involved, transmission line is involved. So there are various elements that are and experiencing this fault current. And the heat generated in that equipment is given by IF square R into T. T is the time, R is the resistance of the path. T is the time for which the fault current persists. We can see here that IF is not under our control. Okay, it is decided by the type of the fault. Okay, R is also thing that we, we cannot manipulate much. Here, time power system protection focuses main important agenda of the power system protection is to reduce the time of fault or for which for the duration at, for which the fault current persists. So the important aspect or important agenda of the power system is to quickly, quickly isolate, isolate the faulty section, faulty section. Therefore, less damage is caused to the equipment involved because the amount of heat generated depends upon the time for which the fault persists. So the main agenda is to as quickly as possible we need to isolate the faulty part causing no damage or least damage to the equipment and personnel involved so that is the main important aspect of power system protection uh, i will also tell about some of the limitations of the protection equipment two limitations two main limitations and i will end this lecture let us suppose uh, our system is well protected power system is well protected. Well protected. So we have here we have uh, kept in place all the 
productive devices productive devices so some of the productive devices like fuse circuit breakers relays etc so we have deployed all the devices okay uh, we have used all different schemes for protection like overcurrent differential etc so we kept all these things at place and we are trying to protect the power system does it mean that faults doesn't occur in other words can these protective devices and protective schemes that we are going to study in this course can they can they prevent faults can they prevent faults we have employed various devices circuit breakers relays etc through different schemes and the power system is well protected now does it mean that there will be zero faults no these power system devices and schemes these power system protective devices and schemes cannot prevent faults they can only act they can they can only act after a fault they can only act after a fault and they try to reduce the damage reduce the damage how they reduce the damage by quickly isolating quickly isolating the faulty section faults will happen due to various reasons like human errors aging of the equipment or some natural reasons natural calamities faults may occur we cannot prevent those faults of course we will design the system to tolerate and to handle those faults by using various devices protective devices okay not exactly tolerate but to quickly isolate the faulty section from the healthy section so one important limitation i cannot say it is a limitation but one important aspect that we need to remember always keep in mind that power system protective devices cannot prevent faults they cannot prevent faults they only act after a fault they will sense the fault and they will isolate the faulty section causing least damage if the fault will persist keep in mind that if the fault will persist the heat generated will be proportional to the time of time duration of the fault current so we the time duration should be as less as possible so we need to quickly isolate the faulty section the second aspect the first aspect is that they cannot prevent faults the second aspect that i would like to uh, before going to the second point i would like to uh, give an analogy here let us suppose we are using a two wheeler and uh, we have purchased a helmet and we are wearing a helmet and going on a two wheeler and does it mean that an accident will not occur no even if we are wearing helmet for various reasons there is a prop there is a chance of accident but what does this helmet do this helmet will prevent the possible potential damage to the head so it is a safety device not a preventive device the same way power system uh, protective devices only act after the fault they cannot prevent the occurrence of faults okay second aspect it is very interesting the second aspect is that power system pro protective devices like fuses circuit breaker and relays etc that we are going to study they cannot they cannot predict faults cannot predict faults it means that they cannot give us any information about future faults so this fuse or circuit break fuse at our home it will not tell us that tomorrow evening at 4 pm there will be a fault in your home it cannot give us such information it can only act after the fault right so they cannot predict the faults but there is one exception for this statement there is one device protective device in power system production called as buckles relay buckles relay we will study about this relay when we are studying about transformer protection so this relay is only exception it can give information regarding information or i can say early warning early warning uh, regarding future faults okay so these two importance always we need to keep in mind that the power system equipment 
that the power system protective apparatus cannot prevent faults. At the same time, they cannot also prevent, cannot also predict the faults. But they are, albeit they are very important because they are going to uh, prevent the potential damage that can happen to the equipment involved in power system as well as damage to the human personnel operating the power system. So with this, I am going to close this lecture. In the next lecture, I will try to discuss about uh, what are the, uh, I will try to discuss about what are the various devices that we are going to use. And uh, uh, I will also try to uh, focus on what are the essential qualities of a power system schemes. Okay. Thank you. Uh, before closing, I would, I'm making a simple request that uh, this Easy BTEC YouTube channel is intended to provide free content, simple, crisp, straightforward content to the undergraduate students of India, BTEC students of India. So kindly encourage our initiative by liking the videos and subscribing and sharing the videos. Thank you.